Ooh. Uh oh. Ta da! Hey, everybody. I'm glad you could join me for this fourth video of August. In this session, I'll be talking about setting and achieving goals. The artwork you see me working on in this video is the Kingdom Lock Inspector drawing, and when I finish that drawing, I will be creating an acrylic painting based on it. Um, as I record this, the channel is up to 15 subscribers and is growing nicely. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed, and if you're not a subscriber, I hope you will choose to do so by the end of this video. So, I set goals for all kinds of things in my life, and one of the goals that I have right now is to achieve 1,000 subscribers on this channel. So let's talk about that a little bit. Setting and achieving goals is important for... Uh, personal growth and confidence building. Now, I personally believe that it is important to set goals like a, an overarching goal that is either very difficult to achieve or nearly impossible. Uh, but then to also set smaller goals or milestones along the way um, that are achievable so that you can get that sense of accomplishment uh, as you pass each of those milestones. These milestones are really important because every time you pass one, you'll feel that little sense of achievement. And that sense of achievement is a form of positive reinforcement. And positive reinforcement really is a big motivational factor in helping you to continue to work towards your goal. That's definitely important. Now, that all sounds very simple. It's also very vague. So let me try to give you a more focused and uh, detailed example based on my own personal goal of achieving 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I started this uh, YouTube channel long before I had any real goals in mind. I mean, I created the channel and I was throwing up um, time-lapse videos I was trying to do tutorial videos. Uh, I had no idea what I was really doing. I was just kind of throwing stuff out there and seeing what happened. Um, so at the end of July, I decided to start doing uh, these little vlogs with, uh, with my art where I would just put my video up in the corner like I have here and uh, run some time-lapse video of the art that I'm working on. And... Since I've started doing that, the channel has begun growing, uh, which, as I mentioned earlier, we're up to 15 subscribers now, uh, which is great, and I'm trying for, you know, my, my current goal right now, my, my big goal right now, is to get to 1,000. In addition to creating a specific type of content helping to grow my channel, I've also decided to make these videos weekly, which is a regular posting, um, of this specific type of content. Uh, so that, that's the two main things that I need for creating or for growing my channel is um, a specific type of content and um, regular or consistent posting. Now, if you've been following me, you know that uh, I'm getting these videos out every week, but... I'm not quite at my get my goal yet of having them out on Wednesday for my patrons and then making them public on Friday. But it is really important and still an achievement for me to actually get the videos done every week. So make sure you start, you know, in your own goals, whatever you're doing, start with something that you can achieve regularly, consistently, and then work from there. Uh, because as you practice at your at your goal and you're achieving that positive reinforcement, it's going to get easier and you're going to get better at it. And um, through that practice and repetition, not only do you get better, but you also get faster. But it is my hope that in addition to getting better at these videos, I'm also hoping to get faster so that it is a lot easier for me to crank these videos out every week and to hit that goal of having them up on Wednesdays for my patrons and then release them to everybody on Friday. Before I really got into thinking about the goals for this channel and setting them and everything, I'd already kind of passed um, my first milestone, 
which, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're up to 15 subscribers now, which is great. Um, so, I went from two to over time I hit nine and then shortly after I started posting this content I think I was at nine subscribers when I started posting uh, these weekly vlogs and now we're at 15 so you know every step of the way every little goal that I can hit or every little milestone I can pass that's positive reinforcement it makes me want to continue um, making these videos and uh, I actually get excited now where I, I used to be, I would dread getting in front of the camera and making something. And, I mean, even just to share a little something about me, I don't like being on the camera. I tend to fidget. Um, I tend to get nervous and mess things up or even completely forget what I'm trying to say. Uh, but as I've been making these videos, that gets a little bit better. So the rest of my journey from where I'm at now from 15 subscribers to a thousand subscribers is composed of a couple of uh, different types of uh, milestones and goals because it it is uh, um, what do you call it? it it's like a kind of like a mixed bag of things that I'm that I'm working towards achieving uh, one of those is being more comfortable in front of the camera and actually looking at the camera more often instead of looking at everything else in the area uh, one another thing is improving the content so like when I first started making these videos I was going with some very vague very general topics and just kind of cramming in about 10 minutes worth of that topic without really saying anything this video is the first one I think where I've really kind of nailed it down and I'm focusing on one specific topic and trying to make it useful um, and I'm going to continue doing that so it's you know that that's part of the process every video I make improves over the last one in some way until eventually hopefully my videos will actually be really good so my my um, remaining milestones are I, we're gonna I'm gonna break them down into just two big categories. Uh, the first co category is content generation. So as I mentioned, improving the quality of my content, improving the speed at which I produce it, and you know, just refining the content. That's that's like one path that I'm going down, and the other path is achieving the the subscribers. And of course, as my content in Increases or the quality of it increases and my consistency gets there then the amount of subscribers I have will seem to grow almost on its own because my content will be coming out regularly and that'll make it so that my content gets put in front of more people more often um, and of course the more people that see your stuff the more people there are that might be interested in it. Th this is really important, okay? Um, my, my little journey here is broken up into those two parts for a very specific reason. First of all, you cannot control other people. So I can't make people subscribe to my videos, you know, as much as I might want them to. Um, but I can control how good the content is that I put out. Um, whether it's, you know, by learning new things or working harder at creating something, uh, or even just making sure that I do sit down and create it. So definitely no matter what you're doing, if you're setting goals for yourself, make sure your goals are things that you and you alone can achieve. Um, don't base your growth on what other people do, what how they react, whether they buy from you, whether they subscribe to you, any of that. Um, you know, your own personal growth has to come from you. And then when you're when you're judging your growth based on what you have achieved, you also can analyze your growth to see how well you're doing. You look at where you were when you started your journey 
and then you look at where you are now. You don't compare yourself to um, like other people. So that's really all I've got for you as far as uh, you know, setting goals and then setting milestones to achieve on the way to those goals. Um, I hope that is useful to you, that you can apply that in your daily life in some way. And I hope that um, you'll go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons. So subscribe to my channel, like the videos, and um, hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you to all of my patrons and to my wife who helped to uh, support my artistic endeavors and uh, make a lot of this possible. So you can join my Patreon for $3 a month and become a uh, supporter of my artistic endeavors. Uh, you can... Uh, buy merchandise from my Pixel site, and you can see more of my artwork for free on all of my social media. Uh, all of those links are in the video description, so check those out, and uh, I hope to see you around the internet. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button that just popped up there on the left, or check out one of my other videos uh, that popped up there on the right. And uh, thank you again for watching this video and the artwork that you've seen me working on in this video was the Kingdom Mock Inspector and again I will be creating an acrylic painting in the near future uh, based on that drawing once it is finished.